Hello friends. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to automate the outside lights. Now with this automation, you will be able to automatically turn on the light in the evening when it gets dark and turn it off again automatically in the morning when the sun comes up. Now this particular approach will be using the online approach which is we'll be taking some data from the internet to determine if the light needs to be turned on or off. We'll be using Sonoff uh, as our Wi-Fi switch for this purpose and we'll reprogram it for our use. Now a couple of things to note here is that in this approach given that it's online we need to ensure that the Sonoff is placed at a location where internet is your Wi-Fi network is available for example, if it is placed near the gate, uh, it should have a Wi-Fi network available at that range. We would need a Sonoff Wi-Fi switch. We would need a USB to serial adapter. Here we use CP2102 adapter and some jumper wires. Now the detailed post on how to uh, upload code into the Sonoff, I have made it as a separate post and I have published a separate video as well so you can watch that to set up the Arduino ID and the other related drivers etc. Now in this uh, tutorial we'll just directly go to the code section so here you can copy the code and open up your Arduino ID take a new sketch paste the code here now here you need to change your Wi-Fi name and add your Wi-Fi password. Now the coordinates here I have kept for the base location where you are based out of. And go to Google and search for say if you're based out of Delhi you can say Delhi coordinates and you should be able to get your coordinates so if it is 28.7 you can add that here 28.70 and 77.10 so basically you are trying to provide the location uh, where your house is located the reason we have this is based on this coordinates we determine what is the time of the sunrise and the sunset at your location. Now here you can put the time zone that you belong to. Here for India I have put it's 5 hours and 30 minutes uh, in addition to UTC. So that's 3.30 minutes which I have added here. And for the delay you can add uh, the number of minutes that you want to the lights to be still turned on after the sunrise. It can take negative values as well, which will be turning it off before the sunrise. And for the, as for the sunset, you can again put the number of minutes which you want to like put a delay for after the sunset or before it. So here I want it to turn on 20 minutes before the sunset and turn off 15 minutes after the sunrise. Okay, a few things to quickly note here. We are adding a couple of uh, additional Arduino libraries. One is the Arduino JSON library and the NTP client library. The links to these libraries I have given against each of them. And you need, to, if you have not yet installed these libraries, you need to install them. And how we can install them, I have uh, made under detail post on uh, on the same, and the links to which you will be able to get in the blog post uh, where I have written this. Now basically the code what we are doing here is we first uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network and look for this particular website where we get uh, the sunrise and sunset uh, timings for the latitude and longitude or the location that we have given. We take that uh, information, parse it and also we find uh, the time 
and here we use the NTP uh, server uh, we get the time from the NTP server and then we compare it against the sunset and sunrise times and based on that we make a determination whether to turn the light on or turn the light off alright so let's go to uh, the code upload first let's save uh, the sketch and then let's compile it okay once it is compiled you can upload the code now to upload it as I had mentioned earlier there is a separate detailed post and the video that I have uploaded which will give all the details on how you can upload the code to Sonoff so if you're doing it for the first time I would definitely recommend you to go through that uh, initially for now just click on the upload button and you will be able to see that your sketch is getting uploaded to the Sonoff okay once your upload is complete you can disconnect your uh, sewn off uh, from the computer and you can connect it with the wires for your lights most of the electrical devices in your home like lights fans etc would have these two wires coming in from the main supply the black one generally is the neutral wire and the yellow or the red one becomes the line wire now these two are generally connected directly to the uh, electrical uh, light so if you switch it on you have the light glowing now all you need to do to automate is to have the zone off come in between and as you can see in the zone off there is the, this is the input side for the zone off and here is the output side now if you take these flaps off you can see that there are two terminals here and it's marked same on the other side and it's marked clearly on what is the line uh, terminal and what is the neutral terminal now all you need to do here is once this is all uploaded you have uploaded with your new code we need to put the line wire coming directly into your Sonoff input and another wire or a set of wires coming from the Sonoff output back into your electrical device which in this case will be your light that's all that you need to set up with so let's do that so what I've done here is I've connected the Sonoff in between our electrical main supply into uh, the electrical device here which is the light as I said the line wire goes to the input L terminal and the neutral goes to the input N terminal and from the zone of output I have just connected directly to the uh, light now when I switch it on what will happen is the light turns on automatically because by default we have set it to turn on the light and once it turns on here you'll see a green LED blinking which is to indicate that the Sonoff is trying to connect to the internet and get the data of the sunrise and sunset timings from that website so let's try that I'll switch it on now you can see that the LED here is blinking and the light has turned on now it stops blinking and you can see that it's connected and right now it's day over here when I'm at the time of recording so given that the sunset time has not yet reached it will automatically cut off the light and once it reaches the sunset time it will automatically turn on and again during the daytime in the early morning when there is light it will again turn off the light 
Okay, couple of things to add on in here. This zone off, you can attach it right next to your light source, whether that be a tube light or an ordinary light or some decorative lighting. And just ensure that this comes under the Wi-Fi range of your router so that it can connect to the internet. You can just use a double-sided tape or uh, some glue to attach it uh, to a nearby uh, surface. Now, a couple of drawbacks that you need to note here is it only looks up at the sunrise and sunset times, which means that on a rainy day when it starts getting dark early, it still does not turn on until it has reached the sunset time or, you know, with the delay that uh, you have already provided in the code. All right. So that's about it. Hope you have enjoyed this video and you are able to implement uh, this automation at your home. Thanks.